Hello grade 10s. Today we will deal with the concept of a function and function notation. Let's start by looking at some definitions. A function is the relationship between two variables, the input and output variables. A function only has one output variable for each input variable. Exactly what does this mean? Functions are very much like machines. An input value goes into the machine through a process and becomes an output value. Input variables are also called independent variables and output variables are also called dependent variables. This is because independent variables are those variables that are known at the beginning of a process or function. Dependent variables are those variables that are created as a result of a process or function. An input value can be compared to coal that is fed into a power plant and turned into an output value of electricity. The output of electricity is dependent on the input of coal. Without the coal, electricity can't be made. Another example of a function at work in real life is the vending machine. The money we put in is like the input variable. The amount of things we can buy is dependent on the amount of money we put into the machine. The output is the food we buy. This brings us to the next thing to learn, domain and range. The domain of a function is the complete set of possible values of the independent variable in the function. The range of a function is the complete set of possible values of the dependent variables in the function. This means that the domain of a function is all the possible input values which allow the function or process to work. The range of the function is all the possible output values that are the result of the process or function. In the case of the vending machine, the domain is all the possible coins we could insert into the machine. The range of this function is all the possible options we can choose to buy from the machine. Typically, we let the input variable equal x and the output variable equal y. Occasionally, we'll use functional notation to write the equation of a function. Functional notation shows clearly which is the independent and dependent variables. The independent variable is represented by an x and the dependent by f of x. Let's look at an example of this. The cost of electricity is represented by the function y is equal to 1, 5 times x. X represents the number of units of electricity used and is the input variable. Y represents the cost of electricity and is the output variable. The cost is calculated in rands. The cost of electricity is dependent on the number of units of electricity used. Let's write this in functional notation. It now becomes f of x is equal to 1 comma 5 times x. This shows us that the value of f of x relies on the input value of x. Let's use this to calculate the cost of 50 units of electricity. x represents the number of units and has a value of 50. This means that the cost is equal to 1 comma 5 times 50. This is equal to 75 rand. The great thing about functional notation is that we can display the values of the independent variables and the dependent variable. The independent value is 50 units of electricity. The dependent value is 75 rand. A large part of our time will be spent on representing and interpreting functions on a Cartesian plane. Let's plot this function. The function has the equation f of x is equal to 1 comma 5 times x. It is a straight line or a linear function. Let's take a look at some of the other functions we will be covering. This is known as a parabola or 
a quadratic function. Here is a hyperbola, and this is an exponential function. Did you notice that for every input value, there is only one output value? This means that for every value of x, there is only one possible value for y. This is not a function. We can see this because when x is equal to 2, there is two values for y. In this video, we covered the basic concept of a function and how to use functional notation. For more information on this, visit our website at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Don't forget to watch the task video on this series. Goodbye, grade 10s.